a lot of people, like guys, don't think that they should watch like <sighs> romance novels or, or not romance. They don't watch romance novels. They do they? No, no, they do movies. No, a lot of the guys don't watch like romance movies. They don't like dramas. They don't like uh, stuff that will make them cry or even little kid shows like that would make them ball. I have not met a guy on the fucking planet that doesn't cry at where the red fern grows, little old yeller, or anything about a dog dying. That's just common knowledge. That'll make a dude cry, like, real quick. And if you say it won't, you're probably wrong because you're trying to seem more masculine than anybody else. I have no problem crying about a movie. If it's fucking sad, it's fucking sad. I've had a lot of tragedy and bullshit in my life, so... Sad shit actually makes me sad. And the fact that you can show your feelings shows more balls than most people actually want to show. Um, so, we can do top five lists, too. That's an idea Haley doesn't know about, but she loves to do top five lists like her top five favorite actors and explain why she likes to do her top five favorite fucking I do my top five favorite comic books or my top five favorite TV shows which is a very very fucking hard choice so I basically just go with the ones I'm watching right now my number one favorite show is the one I'm watching on Hulu called This Is Us and I'm sure it's NBC or ABC or something like that but it's amazing I might do a whole video just talking about my favorite character from that show or a retreat re review certain episodes <clears throat> anyway with movies I like everything literally everything and I'm going to do a couple reviews hopefully Videos aren't that long. My reviews aren't going to be that long. But. Anyway. That's off topic. Again. Shut up. It's long. <clears throat> I like Nicholas Sparks movies. Like. The Lucky One. The Notebook. Longest Ride. Stuff like that. Anything Nicholas Sparks says, books or movies wise, is fucking amazing. The movie doesn't always turn out like the book, but you know. I do like movies like that. I saw one the other day, and I'll review it. It was called uh, A Street Cat Named Bob. It's not Nicholas Sparks, but it was interesting. I think it was a Sundance movie. And I'll actually go look that up before I do the video review for it so I can make sure I'm right, but I'm pretty sure it's a Sundance Film Festival movie. It was really good. Well, in my opinion, it was really good. It's one of those independent-looking things, and not a lot of people will like it, but, I mean, there's a trailer for it on YouTube, and I could actually put the link in the description. <clears throat> I'm going to have to go back and do that for several of these videos, like watch them all the way through, and see where I have to put links and stuff because I said I would. There will always be a link to Haley's page, or Haley's um, YouTube in the description of my videos so I have to go back and do that too so it was basically just save the link to her page in word and do that um other movies I like action I love comic movies I'm a big comic book nerd like no other Infinity War kind of fucked me up and that's gonna be another review I'm gonna see if I can't get Haley to do that one with me cause she watched it she finally watched it and it might be one of those long ass videos. It might be 10 minutes. I don't know. We both like to talk and we like to talk over each other. So our videos are going to be very interesting. Not comical because we talk over each other. I also like action. There's certain, certain action movies. that are just. They're just amazing. There's certain ones that are. Just the same fucking thing. Over and over and over and over and over again. Jesus Christ. 
you figured after a while people would stop wanting to see the same kind of action movie over and over and over again. Like, or sequels to the same action movie like Fast and Furious. I'm pretty sure that movie series ran its course before Paul Walker even died. Another thing I'll do, go for actors and entertainers that I grew up with that have passed away and aren't, aren't here anymore and what impact they had on my life. And I know they're actors and they shouldn't have any effect on my, my life personally, but they do. And I think the top five would be a way to go through and talk about certain movies or why they're your favorites, why they had an impact on you, certain actors, certain actresses, certain fucking people from history and just go over it because a lot of people do like top five videos. Um, but with movies, adventure, the adventure and zombie apocalypse, like post-apocalyptic I love the survival aspect of it. I love movies where people are trapped in the wilderness or on an island or something like that and they have to survive by themselves or in a group of people or whatever. <clears throat> that just, that's highly entertaining. Hell, I have a bug out bag. And I might do a video of me going through that too. Um, it's not complete, but I could do a video of me going through my bug out bag. Is he, um, you know what to do with certain things, whatever. But back to movies again, because I trailed off. Adventure excites me. Like, I'll sit there and watch a, I'll sit there and watch a damn island adventure movie or an island survival movie or a zombie apocalypse movie all damn day. With horror movies, though, you gotta stick with the classics. Because there's not much that makes me jump or scares me. <clears throat> I might have twitched during a quiet, pa a quiet place. Haley jumped more than I did. The other two watching it jumped, too. I don't remember jumping. I was told that I did, but I don't remember it. But as far as I know, there's not a movie out there that can make me jump. There's a movie that can make me cringe. And uh, I'll review it just because I remember it to the point of where I don't want to remember it. Haley's never seen it, so I'm going to have to fucking sit through it. At least one more time. Because she wants to watch it. And I do anything in the world for her. Um, comedy. I love comedy. Everybody needs a good laugh once in a while, especially if you have anxiety, depression. That laugh means everything, especially if you know the person making you laugh is going through the exact same thing. Um, music, we'll go over, go over music. Uh, I do, I like, I like dramas too. I like musical dramas. I like some documentaries. There was one uh, I think called Tent City USA that was really cool. It was about a bunch of homeless people and how they all lived under a bridge and it was called Tent City. And I'll see if I can't find it on Netflix and rewatch it with Haley and we can review it if she wants to review it. If not, I'll review it myself, but I got to refresh my memory on it. There's also called One Living on a Dollar. There are a few foreign films I like, like one called Castaway on the Moon. That one was really cool. Uh, there might be a part two to this video <clears throat> when I remember or if I want to talk about something more, but I like every genre of movie, but I really do enjoy like romance movies and dramas and stuff like that. Stuff that makes you cry and get your emotions out is somehow highly significant. And then again, if you like hearing me talk about random stuff and be random, because I can't really stay on topic that well. Touch AED. Whatever. Um, 
But if you like what you see, and you like hearing me be random and rant and stupid shit and it be uncut, click subscribe, hit the notification button, like it, share it, stuff like that. All right.